great night to be a spectator. Perfect weather here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Southampton. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the match begins. Granite Jacka. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Che Adams. You know, it's always a tantalising prospect watching Martin Odegaard close up. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Ward-Prowse. And the pass could do damage. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Well read to win possession back. And there's the feed into the box. Well, a time for composure on the ball. Saka beautifully weighted ball Gabriel Jesus and given away could be oh he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal keeper has it now Who's going to get on the end of it? Struggling to get it away. Well, decent save there. Throwing pressure here, and another corner. Over it comes. Well, it still could be dangerous. Partey. And here's Xhaka. Can he finish? And what a magical save it was! Hello. 
Can someone get on the end of this? Opportunity missed. Sulemana. Now the attack looks promising. Slipshod passing. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Looks like a oh, they might score. And still danger here. And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. Underway again here, one nil the score. In behind for him to chase. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Inching towards the half-time interval, it's Arsenal in front. And Stuart, how about your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Oh, great defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Well, that pass easy on the eye. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Ward Prowse. Here's Walcott. Adams. Ward Prowse. And he takes on the shot. And no way through. Not trailing, but plenty of time left and a corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. It might still be problematic. Promising position, this. So, a corner here. Delivering it, and clearing it away. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Well, plenty of positives in the first half where Martin Odegaard was concerned. What did you make of his contribution? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half.
so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending Separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. And the flag has gone up, offside. So making the substitution now. the challenge that was required Ward Prowse and top notch as well as brave goalkeeping well he comes off his line at just the right time he read that brilliantly Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control and still looking to get the shot away Partey Here's Gabriel Jesus. Well, the keeper committed himself. And they will make the change now. Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Well, the pass not finding its target. Martin Odegaard. Ben White. Gabriel Jesus. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Promising looking ball. But mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just... needs to bide his time Martinelli nicely cut out
And the pass, a good one. Straight forward for the keeper. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Chance to attack using wit. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. And a substitution in the offing. Well, nicely cut out. And he has options available. Now showing excellent vision. Well, as we can see here, the pass from Saka is absolutely perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Three goals without reply. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. And he read it well, intercepting it. And slipped through beautifully. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And a throw in here for Southampton. You've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, he kept asking questions, Martin Odegaard. What did you make of what you saw from him? Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.